Hello, good morning. This is Siva Devaki from uh, Mass Mailer. Thank you so much for uh, joining the webinar today. Today, I'm going to talk uh, talk about uh, a very important topic. Um, you know, most of the customers, uh, especially if you're in financial services, you must have uh, noticed um, uh, this issue that uh, whenever you send an email, uh, sometimes um, you would see auto unsubscribes, and these auto unsubscribes are, um, you know. Uh, like a magic, uh, they just happen. Uh, you would wonder, hey, how come I've sent an email to you know, 10 people in a company, all of them auto unsubscribed at the same time, um, the moment I sent an email, right? Uh, so this could, this could happen. If at all, the recipient, um, uh, the company uh, organization, uh, if at all they have some sort of a email spam filter softwares that are installed and they're actually uh, set to auto-click the links in the email that you're uh, sending. And if at all you're having a global unsubscribe link that is added to the email, uh, which basically just by one click, uh, people get auto-unsubscribed. Uh, so the, <clears throat> um, you know, uh, whatever happens uh, basically would uh, definitely is not uh, desirable. Um, you know, uh, people getting auto unsubscribed, even though they would want to receive your emails, uh, they may just get auto unsubscribed just because of uh, the uh, spam filter softwares. So how do we avoid that, right? Um, so they, they are, uh, obviously, there's no way you can control the recipient email server. You cannot really go and talk to that organization saying that, hey, uh, relax your restriction, don't auto click. That's not possible because, you know, you may be sending it to 100 different uh, companies, right? Um, so how do we really avoid that auto click? So there's a little bit of a, a tweak that we're gonna do uh, in um, the emails that you're sending. Uh, so two, two things that you would do, one is instead of using a global unsubscribe link in your email, you would want to use the email preferences link. So there's a, a difference between a global unsubscribe and an email preferences link. Uh, so the global unsubscribe is basically this one link where people just get auto unsubscribed, right? But the email preferences uh, would take you to a landing page where the user will have to opt out manually from a specific group, right? So once again, I'll repeat. So the global unsubscribe would just uh, auto unsubscribe anyone just by one click. But the email preferences link that you're gonna add will take the user to a specific landing page where the user will have to select an option to unsubscribe from a specific group. So it is a two click process, it's not one click. So the email preferences initially, even if the auto um, uh, click happens by the recipient email spam software, all it would do is it will take uh, you know, that auto click to a landing page. So they got to be another option. So obviously the uh, software, um, the recipient software is not gonna go uh, click stuff on the landing page that, that will not happen. They, all they can do is just auto click the links in the email. Uh, so we are basically tweaking the email template in such a way that the, even if auto click happens, it does not really auto unsubscribe the user, if at all you use the email preferences uh, instead of a, a global unsubscribe, okay? That's the uh, small tweak that we're gonna do. Uh, in order to kind of achieve this, you have to have the email preferences defined uh, and also the unsubscribe uh, group defined. It's very easy. Uh, you just need to be make sure that you are mass mailer admin. You go to the mass mailer setup tab, and then tracking settings tab under which uh, you would see email preference group. Uh, you would have to create email preference group if it's not defined. You can give any name. Uh, in this example, I've given it as my email preferences and then you got to give uh, unsubscribe group name. Um, you know, it could be anything, it's up to you. Uh, I've just uh, given some um, sample name here for the unsubscribe group. So that's the first step that you have to 
uh, take care. And then you also need to change your template. Um, so if you are used to just append the global unsubscribe link automatically or custom position it, that has to change. Now you have to manually go edit your template to add the email preferences link. There are two options given here. Either you just go with the ASM preferences URL, which will uh, automatically add uh, the text as well. The text for this link uh, will be auto-appended by the system. Or if you wanted a custom, uh, custom text uh, for this link, you can always add your own. Um, that is the option two, uh, where you're actually going to go add uh, ahref, ASM preferences, raw URL is the merge tag. And then you can have your own custom uh, text embedded. And remember, these two are uh, HTML uh, snippet options. So you have to uh, drag and drop the HTML, uh, the code snippet, or uh, the content item in your template when you're creating uh, a template using Mass Mailer Template Builder. And you're free to uh, embed this script in um, like a HTML email template. If you are creating HTML email template, that's not a problem. You can always add it there. Uh, and these options are given only for HTML templates, not text templates. Please remember that, okay? And then now, once you uh, embed this, and again, uh, you can also um, add any styling. So whatever we are demonstrating here does not have uh, like a, a style according to your company. Uh, this just has, is the default uh, styling that we have in this, okay? And this is how the sample email would look. So once you uh, send an email, uh, you can see that um, whether you use option one or option two, both of them will have the link. First one, the option one, uh, the default text would appear, manage email preferences. And the second option, as you can see, uh, this could be your own custom text uh, here, you know, uh, just showing as a sample, but you can always change it to uh, your own text in this particular example. Okay. Now let's take a look at it in a demo. So to start with, uh, we would actually go to the mass mailer setup. That's uh, the first step that we're going to do. And then go to tracking settings. And then here, you're going to define under email preferences group. Uh, you have to create email preference group. So don't get confused. So you would see two plus. So the last one is for the preference group. And this one is basically for the unsubscribe group. So make sure that you click on this uh, and then um, add the, um, the preference uh, group first. And then underneath that, you can add the unsubscribe uh, uh, group. So that's how you basically add this. Uh, so once you have done this, then you would have to go to uh, the template and I have, uh, again, have a, a demo template here. Uh, if you're creating a template uh, using mass mailer, which is uh, a preferred option. Uh, so there are two options given. Uh, so option one, which we talked about, where uh, you just have to add this um, uh, script, is some preferences URL, the merge documentation, as you can see. Uh, this will give the, uh, the default um, uh, link um, the text. And if you go with this one, uh, you have an option to add your own custom text. As you can see, uh, this could be my email uh, preferences, something on those lines. So this is basically um, the custom text that you're gonna uh, use. And once you've done that, uh, you basically save this, save to Salesforce. Um, and then uh, if you wanted to test it out, I will show you how to test this. So basically go to Outreach Wizard. In order to test this, you will have to send a real email. So make sure that you have some test uh, contacts or leads or any other object, um, making sure that you're actually gonna go through the entire, um, the, the entire steps to send out this uh, sample email. So we're gonna select the template.
save this. And then go to the next step. Next step, under options. And here, uh, we are sending the non-transactional, and then you're gonna use the my email preferences, and then you're gonna use the mailing list. So this is what you're gonna use, and then go to the next step. And making sure that we have two recipients, and then you click this launch, and then say yes. Don't do send. Uh, don't use a send test because send test does not add the unsubscribe link. Uh, so you really have to launch, meaning you got to uh, send this uh, email. Uh, the complete uh, steps that you got to follow. Uh, so once you've done that, uh, you will receive an email. Again, the email will have something like this: the manage email preferences. Uh, if at all you wanted the default uh, text option or the custom text option, uh, is the one. And uh, if you click on this one, again, you would see uh, that you're actually taking out to your landing page, uh, taking to your landing page where a user can actually unsubscribe by uh, selecting one of these options. So both are the same. Uh, so if you click on this one, again, you can select this and then save preferences. So basically, even if the uh, auto click software actually clicks on this links, uh, it is still, um, not gonna auto unsubscribe. So basically assume that this uh, recipient software is clicking on this link. It basically just takes the, um, the I mean, that auto click happens, but it takes, uh, navigates to a landing page. So software is never gonna go, um, you know, go to the landing page and then click one, uh, one more link that does not happen. So they can only have ability to scan this email and then auto click the links right there. Okay, so this is how you basically avoid any auto unsubscribes uh, in your email. And, um, you know, that way uh, you would be very safe, uh, especially if you're a financial services organization, uh, you may experience this and you can avoid uh, these things. Okay. I hope I've uh, given um, enough information about this. And if you uh, have uh, any more questions, uh, feel free to contact us. Uh, anytime. Once again, this is a, a weekly webinar. Uh, this webinar will be posted to our uh, social channels and the websites uh, every week. And if you're part of our email list, you would also receive this uh, uh, recording and also the next week's uh, topic. Um, and feel free to contact us uh, anytime uh, you have questions. Uh, once again, this is Radhiraki from uh, Mass Miller. Thank you so much for joining the webinar. Have a great day, have a great evening, have a great night. Thank you.